Tell them. Tell them. Tell them I'll be happy to help them with their adjustments. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here from the United States. Okay. Okay, so you've been detecting for 10 days this time? This gentleman is using a mine lab explorer and has he found gold with this machine yet? He found a few times. Uh, one time is 150 gram, one is 250. 150 gram, 250. 200 the most. This machine is very good for finding very big gold. It's probably very good for this kind of area because there's so much trash. And and this will this will uh, blank the trash out, so you know what what is gold and uh, and what's trash. This is an excellent machine. It's very in very high demand in the United States, but it's used mostly to find coins and relics and uh, 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 Civil War artifacts from uh, way back when we had a civil war in the United States uh, over 100 years ago. Good, thank you. This area has been heavily, heavily worked, and it's very, very hard to read the land here because the uh, obviously the sand blows so hard that it covers up any indication of where quartz is. You'll find uh, small outcroppings, but uh, right next to it, you'll find a lot of sand where there could be a, a real heavy concentration. But it looks like they've done really well right in through here. Uh, as you can see, there's almost a, a straight line where the diggings are. Uh, they've also, these are areas where they've just dug holes, but there's also areas where they've just uh, done pushes and uh, push the dirt off a couple uh, feet like they have over here. But then there's big areas like this one right here. If you look very closely, you'll see that it's just like cornrows, just like a plowed field. And uh, that dirt has not been pushed. That dirt has been taken up and taken away and processed. So I assume that someone uh, has some commercial uh, interests or commercial uh, ability to process all of this uh, placer uh, has been here and has taken off the surface and, and then taken it away and ran it through a large trombo or some other processing. This is Isam, my host, who uh, helped uh, arrange for my trip over here because one of his high school friends is a, a general in the government and he was able to secure my visa. in the mine lab 4500 along with the uh, gold screamer hour pack 
and they really like the external speaker over here because I can't stand the headphones, it's so hot. It's also using a swing arm and a 16 inch round mono Quail Tech Gold Stalker. I've got to work with him a little, I've tried to, to tell him to make sure he keeps that coil down on the ground, but it's, uh, it's a little hard, especially on the bumpy areas. It's uh, sort of noisy, there is some pockets of mineralization here. So what we found out so far is that these prospectors out here are working extremely hard now. That's why this gold rush has slowed down. Um, the areas that produced enormous amounts of gold from the looks of it have now sort of dried up. Uh, everyone we have spoke to, no one has found gold. So they're out here in the hopes of finding it, but I think they're, uh, they're behind the curve a little. So. There's plenty of gold, I'm sure, to be found. Uh, it's just that they happen to have hit, it looks like a, a vein. Uh, it used to probably be an ancient reef that broke down. And uh, they've worked it for all they could work it for. There's uh, spot diggings here and there, but uh, by and large, it looks like, uh, you know, they've, they keep trying to work close to the diggings. And I think the only way that find more gold is if they actually went out into virgin ground which would take a lot of time but again that's why I think the uh, the ability to cover more ground at once because right now basically what they're doing is patch hunting again and, and they're not doing that they're just walking between piles of dirt uh, from the holes that have been excavated and where they've done scrapes and they're having quite a bit of difficulty finding things. Um, I just got through interviewing a gentleman that had an Explorer SC. Uh, he didn't know how to set it up correctly, so I set it up so it would find coins only and jewelry only, and everything else would blank out. And uh, amazingly enough, that little Explorer SC, uh, it hits fine on a about a uh, one and a half penny weight nugget, and it blanks out everything else. So he was very, very happy with that. But for what they're looking for over here, uh, larger gold, there's nothing wrong with using a detector like that. Especially now when you're getting around these dig piles where people have been. They're now down in the holes and they're also scraping the piles of dirt loose so they can keep detecting and see if they can find anything. And uh, uh, there's just so much trash now around these areas. You get out on the flats and there's nothing. You can walk for miles and you can target at all. But uh, that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to go out and start moving relatively fast, relatively quick, and just take off across the, the desert to other likely areas. I mean, for all we know, you know, a quarter of a mile from here, there could be another uh, uh, area of gold, placer gold, that's just as big, if not bigger, than this one, because it all looks the same. And it just so happens that they located its deposit here. But it all started with, you know, those two ge geologists, uh, you know, finding gold in one location and it spread around. So, all right, well, I've been detecting uh, pretty most of the, much of the day so far. I think it's, uh, let's see what time it is. It's at 128, which is just the heat of the day, and boy, it is miserable. So I'm just sitting in the car and trying to cool down a little. I, my face looks like it's a little red, which means I may have been uh, overdoing it just a bit. So I'm going to take it easy. All right, this is Doc from DocsDetecting.com. Take care. انتوا اتكلمتوا معه وهو كان بيصلي بيقرا يعني بيدعي ولا ما يصلي انت اه اوكي بيصلي انت قاموا ساعه قاموا احنا تعالوا قاموا قاموا لهم كذا صاروا بيصلي انت من ازاي ما تفتكروا taking a break out of the summer sun it uh, gets very hot uh, as you can imagine the desert between about 11 and 2.30 so this is 
pretty much uh, customary to yeah, give some shade and uh, allow the people to say their prayers and uh, enjoy a cup of coffee and a little lunch. So I, I could uh, get used to this lifestyle. It's, uh, it's nice to be able to drink what we detect. We detect uh, so fast and furious we don't even stop for lunch. This is uh, Wednesday, and uh, we detected here this morning, now it's about 2.45, so we decided to go on to a new place. Uh, we have two, uh, three, two or three, I think, carts. I think we actually have three carts, 20 by 40. They've covered all around here, and uh, not with a lot of success. <laughs> That bar. Stop in to get some gas. Cheap gas. Where's our gas? Is this cheap? <laughs> 